Hey guys, so tonight I'm going to be trying a recipe that a friend recommended to me. It's called chickpea and kale curry and she said it was delicious so let's give it a try. So the first thing I'm doing right now is I'm just heating up some olive oil uh, in a pan and then I'm going to add some peppers. Now I'm just kind of making this my own as always. So I've got the oil in there and I got a trio of peppers because I just thought that it looked really fancy and I liked it. So we're going to put that in there and just cook them for a couple minutes. Now you can put onion in it if you like. Um, as everybody knows, I'm not a fan of the onion. So um, go ahead and feel free to put onion in there, but for me, no onion. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna let it cook probably about four or five minutes. I'm just gonna tell you the rest of the ingredients. So I've got some kale here. It said about three cups of kale and two teaspoons of garlic, but I'm putting two honking huge cloves of garlic because I love garlic, so we're gonna do that. Um, some coconut milk, curry, ginger, some peanut butter, yeah, that should be interesting. The chickpeas, salt and pepper, and uh, we're gonna stir it all up and see what happens. Doesn't that look so good? So far, so good, okay. So I'm gonna put the garlic in here, and like I said, I'm making it super duper garlicky. Um, some of you may not like this much garlic, but I love garlic, so I'm just going full force on the garlic. Um, and then as far as the kale goes, I've never actually cooked kale. I know, that sounds a little crazy. I've only eaten it in a salad, so that should be interesting as well. Okay, so we're gonna mix that in there and then put our kale right in as well. And then I'm gonna just stir this up a bit and let that cook for a few minutes. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my God, yum, yum. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the spices. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of curry and a half a teaspoon of the ginger. Oh, sorry. Half a teaspoon of ginger. Now it called for um, kosher salt or sea salt or something, but I don't have that. So we're just gonna use a regular old salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna kind of throw a bit of that in there. And then stir that up. Um, you guys, this smells so yummy. Like I seriously cannot wait to eat it. it smells so good. Um, I just let the kale and the garlic cook for about two minutes just to get it kind of soft. And um, I'm telling you, it looks really, really good. Okay, so now for the interesting part is the peanut butter. Now it said um, a tablespoon, I believe, of peanut butter and they want you to use the natural smooth. I don't have a smooth because I hate it. So <laughs> I'm gonna use crunchy. I know it's probably not gonna be the same and I'm gonna use more than a tablespoon because I really like peanut butter. So we're just gonna do that. And I think those flavors together are going to be really amazing and yummy. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so now for the coconut milk. Now you can use whatever you have in your fridge for coconut milk. I like the canned when I'm cooking something like with a creamy sauce because I just find it makes it thicker and creamier and yummier and more fattening. So <laughs> I'm going to dump in the whole can. Um, yeah, let's go for it. I think it's 400 milliliters. I think it's a little bit more than what the um, recipe called for, but who cares, right? So we're gonna throw that in there and hang on one second. Of a river on a well-beaten path. Just checking the recipe. Funny how those memories will last. Like strawberry wine, 17. Okay, so uh, stir for 30 seconds. Ooh, I think I probably already did that. And now I gotta put in the chickpeas. Okay, again, I'm putting in a whole can of chickpeas. I think it called for a cup. Ooh, maybe this is too much. Okay, maybe I should just put the cup. Let's see how much that is. Okay, yeah, I think that might have been too much. We'll put a, a little bit extra. We don't want it too chickpea, I guess. Okay, like let's take a look at that. Oh my God, you guys, this looks so, so good. Okay, what else do we have to do? Um, 
Hang on, let's check. Leaves in the fall. Okay, so what it says is to cook it until the sauce thickens, probably 12 to 14 minutes. And then um, we're gonna throw some lime juice over top of it. Mm. And I'm gonna put it on brown rice. I cooked up some brown rice. You can put quinoa, um, that's what it called for. I don't know why, I'm just not a huge, gigantic quinoa fan. I know I'm trying to like it. I like it like as kind of like fake oatmeal, but I don't, mm, I'm not a huge quinoa fan. So we're gonna do brown rice. Okay, so it looks absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna squeeze some lime juice into it and then uh, I'm gonna top it on the rice and we will be good to go. Okay, how good does this look? It looks amazeballs. So I'm super excited to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I hope it's as good as it looks because I really have high hopes for this one. Okay, let's give it a try. You guys, this is honestly one of the best things I've made. And you know how good it is for you? I mean, yes, I know I use the coconut milk, but I mean, the kale and the chickpeas, I mean, it's full of protein. So this is a fantastic dinner and it was super easy to make. So thank you, Franca, for sending me this recipe. Um, I highly recommend it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Mwah!